What's been our testimony for the last two and a half years? I'm just saying, has, have, has something changed? Because I don't think the mission changed. I, I don't think the message changed. I, I think this is where we start getting into confusion about the me and the we. It's like, what have you given us to do? I read in the book of Revelation, it says, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. What's the worst thing you can do to me? Kill me? Hey, last time I read, that's one of the most merciful things you could do because then my fight's over. People laid down their lives. We are his witnesses by the lives that we live and by the deaths that we die. Now, not many of us may have been called to lay down our physical life, our heartbeats, but have we been called to lay down our convenience? Have we been called to surrender our comfort zone in order to take ownership for that piece of the world that God has called us to? I've been around in Christian circles long enough to have been through a number of, quote, campaigns or experiences where we were given phrases to use and then go out and uh, I used to call it the tackle and tell a method of evangelism, like, I'm going to run you down and I'm going to share these truths with you. And what I found over the years was all of those things, as well thought out as they were, as well planned out, they were never as effective as somebody standing up and saying, let me tell you what I experience. Let me tell you how Jesus set me free. <laughs> 